Thanks. Welcome to Real Good Fishing Buddies. In this episode, Mark and Chris fish northern Michigan's Sage Lake. The spawn has just begun, and the guys are looking to slam some largemouths. We're out here at Sage Lake. Got Mark up. You know, we're looking forward to shooting a really good show. Uh, Sage Lake's one of our favorite lakes, and we think we have everything figured out. It's Saturday. We get up here, we start throwing our lipless crankbaits, we're throwing our spinnerbaits for these pre-spawn bass, and all we're catching our pike. And I'm not talking big pike, I'm talking little, tiny pike. We fished all day with maybe a bass or two. So uh, Sunday when we set out, uh, we were really looking to get something established and start that pattern. So we were fishing that first Saturday again. We were only looking at points, large points and large flats coming off the mainland. So today what we figured we'd start with would be mid-lake flats uh, and secondary points, thinking that maybe those held the key uh, for the bigger bass. We threw the lipless crankbaits out. We focused on small finesse worms, shaky head, flick shake, uh, and Texas rig. Real small, real subtle, trying to see if we could get some of those spawning bass and some of those bass cruising those flats looking to spawn, uh, something tempting to take. And uh, we found out it worked pretty well. I found a pattern last night out here by these reeds beds. We found out the bass had moved up on them. Probably looking for some spawning places, so I found a nice little rock here. Not much of a net. Oh, yeah. And it just goes to show you just got to keep with it because yesterday was tough. We fished all morning, all day. Bunch of hammer handle pike, that was it. Finally, we tried something new and it ended up being key right here. On these flats. Again, the key to catching these pre spawn bass is finding it where they are. Sometimes they'll be deep sitting off the flats, sometimes they'll be on the flats. It looks like now they're looking for those bed spots. This looks to be a female. You can see where she's got some eggs in there. So she's probably looking for that male who's just made a nest. And uh, fortunately for us, we just found her. So we're going to hurry up and get her back in the water so she can get back to that nest. Go make some babies. And for a while, that same flat stayed hot. Throwing a flick and shimmy, which is a kind of like a senko or a, a flick shake type of bait. Running it with a weedless, wacky hook. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So you can see this looks like a male here, probably building a nest, trying to court a female. Here's the idea. You got your wacky hook with the weedless barbs. You got your flick shake or flick and shimmy worm. And it just kind of quivers when it goes down there. And it looks like a nice meal for the males or uh, it looks like an invader if they're on the beds protecting the young. So again, we're gonna try to get this guy back so he can get back to that bed before the bluegills eat all the, the fry. All right, see you, buddy. Today we're targeting pre-spawn bass and the water temperature is about 65 degrees. Anytime the water temperature starts getting to be over 60 degrees, the bass are going to start looking to spawn. Um, not all of them are spawning right now at 65 degrees. Um, it's only been that temperature for about a week now. So what we're doing is we're looking for transition bass that are roaming the flats. And then we're looking also uh, under docks today um, in heavier cover where those bass are starting to set up to, to spawn. So a couple different patterns we're going to target on the lake today. Transition docks in the shallows here. I just cast it into a tree shadow. And Real quick on a football head, jig pulling this guy. So that shows the key in. Uh, they're keying in on uh, shallows right now, or yeah, shallow shadows right now. So if we keep hitting under the docks and under boats. We should develop a nice little pattern. And let me tell you what, these little bass were everywhere. These bass pre-spawn at spawn mode, so we're staying shallow. We hit the flats, we hit the docks, almost new. So we're trying to get in the shade. Not the size we're looking for, but it's a good sign. It shows that we're locked in on a pattern, and uh, I'm hoping we're going to put some bigger ones in the boat soon. We're working a pattern in the shallows where we're pitching under the docks. Pull this nice little smallmouth out right here. Tighten up your drag, though, because they're going to pull that bass right underneath the dock, so you got to really muscle them out. Let him go. So as the sun went up and the morning dragged along, we realized we weren't having quite as much luck in the flats. So we decided to start targeting some of the some of the docks on the lake. Uh, we really looked for docks that had a lot of shade cover, so docks that had pontoons on the end, pontoon boats, any kind of boat on the end, docks that were lower to the water, and then any dock that had an L on the end that was parallel with the shore seemed to hold bass better. So we kept casting into those shadows and 
We finally got a pattern going as far as uh, fishing the docks. Even though the docks held some pigs like this, we just felt we had to go back to the flats. The place where we figured this pattern out. The place where another nice fish could still be waiting. Inside the reeds here. This a nice fish. Might be caught in your line. Enjoy the two pins you fill there coming up front. I'll go over you. Nice bad. He's got some pipe damage on him. <laughs> Come here, buddy. There you go. Going after my purple trick worm. Pull them right out of the reeds. So I was working a finesse worm with a little bullet head sinker on it. We're gonna real slow over the, kind of through the flats on the weeds. Um, kind of looking for the, the bass patrol in the beds. Looking for a place to spawn. Uh, just trying to work them real slow so they see them. And we'll let this guy go. Oh yeah, nice show. There's perhaps no better feeling than finally figuring out a lake. All it really takes is some patience, an open mind, and a little determination. Thanks for watching.